All of our episodes of the season so far have been on the Atlantic Ocean side of the Jersey Shore, but there's still a whole nother shore to talk about right here on the Delaware Bay. And for this episode of the season, we're hopping in the boat, we're heading out of Greenwich, and we're going to find you a day in the life of a commercial crabber. started over at the dock in Greenwich. Now we're making our way through the river and we're on our way to the Delaware Bay. We're gonna go on over to where the crab traps are. It's about three or four miles out, 10 minutes away. It's a nice day today. Temperatures are around 80 degrees. Water temps around 80 degrees too. And the seas, very flat. We're going out to Delaware Bay through the Tehansee River to meet a commercial crabbing boat. Uh, it's, it's very peaceful down here and pastoral. You don't have all the hustle and bustle. On the downside, there's too many bugs. The greenhead flies are just starting to leave. Uh, we have the gnats, the strawberry flies, the mosquitoes, the state bird. <laughs> you don't really get too many calm days on the Delaware Bay, but it is also the uh, middle of the summer. Uh, springtime, fall, the wind does nothing but nonstop blow. Uh, it's six months a year. It's uh, very labor intensive. It's just non-stop work for six months. This is all I know. It's all I've done ever since I was little. It's like fishing to me. It's like going hunting. It's not fun when you're not catching nothing, though. Getting lucky, this right here is not doing bad. <laughs> there wasn't any crabs here for a while. This spot right here, there hasn't been nothing here. As at different parts of the uh, year, yeah, no, different you know, times, no. things change. You'll go to have one spot, there won't be no crabs for two months, and then you had to know when to come to certain places to catch them. We start out down at 40 school on a spring run. That's where we go. Because usually up here, back in the day, we used to be able to start right here. But anymore, the springs are cold, and the weather's not right, and the crabs just lay down there. They never come up here. So we had to go down there and take it to them. You get a lot of northwest wind in the springtime. We had a lot last year, but uh, the year before we had nothing but north northwest wind. Our whole spring run it about destroyed it. Pushed all the crabs, scattered all the crabs out. You really couldn't get on them right. In Jersey, we're four and three quarter, okay. but a lot of our crabs get shipped to Maryland, yeah. so they're lost five inches. We're on a strict sewer. Everything's got to be sorted perfect. If you was somebody just trying to start a crab business, it would be very hard to, to make it right now at this point. The work's guaranteed, but guarantee to having a good catch to make money is not always there. It's not like a carpenter where they go to a job and they do the work and they know they're going to get paid, you know. You can come out here and do the work and you might not catch nothing, you know. It's a little different. But I couldn't see myself in no factory though. <laughs> a big thank you to Marty, Marty, Marty and Greg for having us out on their boats on this Wednesday afternoon. It was great to be out there. Great to crab. I've crabbed plenty in my life, but nothing quite like this out on a boat doing it. Usually it's just been off of a pier with a couple of small crabbing baskets. So it's a lot of fun. And I hope you got to learn a different part of the Jersey Shore. There is still things to do here, whether it's in Greenwich, Fortescue, or along the Cape May County side of the Delaware Bay. And we hope that you can check that on out as we go on throughout the summer. You're watching this episode of the season. We'll have more episodes for you all summer long here at the Press of Atlantic City.